too well. If we turn the flashlight off, what do we see? Nothing. It's completely dark. The same images passengers on board the Carnival Triumph crew saw this week. Two years ago, it's exactly what Chris Desaunier and Gordon Gilbreth experienced. So this is where there's been water coming down from the ceiling. Their ship, the Carnival Splendor. Gordon and Chris happily boarded the Splendor with their family November 2010. But the dream vacation to the Mexican Riviera turned out to be anything but. The carpet's all wet. And, of course, it uh, doesn't smell very good either. An engine room fire knocked out power and plumbing across most of the ship. They were stuck at sea with no power, water, or toilets. The exact same scenario that happened on board the Triumph. We have begun the process of having those internal deliberations as uh, what we might learn from this and, and what we might suggest as ways to, to improve safety. Bud Dars with Cruise Lines International Association. He says while tragic, he does not believe the triumph will sink the industry. Incidents such as this are very unusual for this industry and historically did not change the booking patterns following an incident. Carnival has made a public apology, offered a refund, a makeup cruise, and $500 to passengers of the Triumph. For their troubles, Chris and Gordon received a refund and a makeup cruise. It doesn't make up for what we went through, uh, but, but that's okay. And the couple was ready to forgive and forget. That is, until now. It's the same story, only much worse. So we've done a lot of cruises with them. And, and now it's, this is like the final straw. We won't be traveling on Carnival again. Sharon Chen, Fox 5 News. Comic-Con tickets go on sale tomorrow.